Stuart, because of the uniqueness of consciousness and the, what seems to be the impossibility to explain it in a physicalist or materialist sense, some would claim that consciousness exists outside the physical world, the physical world as, as broadly speaking as you want, and so much so that the physical world is the result of consciousness, not the other way around. Well, that's the Vedanta view. That's the mystical spiritual view uh, taken by Deepak Chopra, among many, many other people going back thousands of years. Uh, I would take issue with your first statement that you can't explain consciousness through a physicalist mechanism, because I think we have, at least, at least tentatively, at least uh, have a good, a good proposal for it. Uh, the problem with that is that it takes consciousness outside science. Now, and it's dualist, and, you know, maybe that's the case. But as a scientist, I think that consciousness can be explained. I know that my anesthetic gases act strictly by quantum levels uh, to erase consciousness selectively, so I think consciousness is, is a quantum mechanism. Now, I don't think to get what the Vedantic people want, that is to say, uh, uh, consciousness throughout the universe, you need to uh, uh, go outside science. In our view, consciousness is embedded in the fundamental level of the universe, the Planck scale, and bits of consciousness are happening all around us, although they're, they're undifferentiated and non-cognitive and don't and lack meaning. And when they, we put it together, we get consciousness. So, and you get non-locality, so everything's connected to everything, and uh, Penrose put platonic values, tr uh, mathematical truth, and also aesthetic and ethical values into the Planck scale at this basic level, along with co proto-consciousness, as well as spin, mass, or charge. So um, everything that the Vedantic people need is within the universe. You don't need multiple worlds. You don't need to go below the Planck scale. You don't need to go outside space and time. You don't need to go outside the universe. It's all there. We just have to go down in scale. And what, so what you're saying is that the most fundamental level of the universe at the Planck scale in, in space-time geometry, uh, in terms of the fundamental aspects of the things that generate the physical world, are these other things that you have in addition to the things that generate what we think is the physical world. You have these other things, which, which is, is a proto-consciousness stuff of sorts, and now you're even adding the platonic realm. So these platonic forms are also resonant in that same place. It seems crowded down there. <laughs> it's, it's infinite. How can it be crowded? It's wherever you go, there it is. And, you know, the, it's 10 to the minus 33 uh, centimeter Planck length. So the volume in, in our brain is beyond calculation. But how, I mean, how not... are you representing a platonic form in any way at that level? As a particular resonance in geometry, a geometric pattern. Does each form have it has its own resonance? Why not? Uh, particular values can have resonances. Why not? There's plenty of resonances. That the, the, the combinations of Planck scale... Well, let me say, we don't really know what the Planck scale looks like. People talk about strings. There's a problem with that. People talk about uh, twister... Roger's talking about twister theory, spin networks, quantum gravity, quantum geometry. We don't really have a good picture of what it looks like. We but do. you think whatever it's going to be look like, it's going to represent the infinite number of forms and mathematics and logic and truths and all the stuff that we talk about in a platonic realm? Question. You think it really exists down there and each one with a different it resonance? It has to. It has to. Uh, it has to. What, what, you don't look in the mirror and say, that's ridiculous. You don't, you don't say that? No. I think it's ridiculous to think that complexity gives you consciousness. Oh, I, I don't disagree with that. All right. Well, then uh, if you eliminate the impossible, whatever's left must be true.